here's a look at all the things we've done in the last 12 months. First, an update on strategy and policy. In November 2015, we published our strategic plan. It set out a lot of things we could do working in partnership with the civil service to improve the lives of LGB civil servants. We've been working to deliver the commitments in this plan since then, some of them you've heard about today. Of course, we also recently announced that we're becoming fully trans-inclusive and we'll be updating this plan to reflect this and providing a progress update later this year. To help us represent your views appropriately to civil service management, we've run two consultations in the last year. One of them was on the civil service's participation in the Stonewall Workplace Equality Index, and the other was on how to effectively implement gender identity monitoring as part of the Civil Service People Survey. Thank you to those who took part. We've been using the results of this to influence central civil service policy teams. We're going to publish the results of those consultations on our website soon. Of course, you can keep checking on our website for the latest updates on all of this kind of activity at ukcsra.com. We're a membership organisation, representing the interests of the approximately 20,000 civil servants working in the UK who are LGBT. We thought it would be good to share some numbers about how our membership is changing and growing. In the last year, our membership has increased by more than 22%. Compared to four years ago, it's increased by around 1,000%. And that means that we have around 10 times more members than we did in 2013. For the first time, we've got more than a thousand people actively engaged with our network. Of those roughly a thousand members, 77% define as either gay or lesbian, and 14% as bisexual. 4.5% define as heterosexual or straight, 2% as other, and 2% prefer not to say. In terms of gender balance, men continue to make up approximately two thirds of our membership base, with women making up the other third. We also have around 1% of members who define their gender as other. Earlier this year, CISRA became fully trans-inclusive for the first time. Our membership now includes around 6% of people who define as either trans or intersex. We run a number of events across the country each year and hundreds of people take part. Since February 2016, we've hosted, organised or promoted around 40 events. Most of those have been organised by us directly, and others have been organised by you in your departments. If you're organising an event and want us to help spread the word, email us at info at ukcsra.com and we can publish the details on our website. Of those 40 or so events, around 25 have been social and networking opportunities, including our popular monthly drinks events. In London, we now regularly have more than 50 people attending those events each month from across a range of departments. All of these events are free and they're publicised on our website at ukcsra.com forward slash events. For the first time ever this year, we've hosted more events outside of London than we have inside of London. 46% of our events have been based in London and 54% have been based in the rest of the UK. We've hosted events in or around Belfast, Bristol, Cardiff, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Manchester and Nottingham, amongst others. And of course, we've organised the Civil Service's annual participation in Pride events across the country. We took part in six Prides across the country this year. And this year, we were encouraging people to do something simple, just to be themselves. This year, participation in London Pride doubled compared to previous years, with around 200 people attending on the day. And at events in Scotland, more than 100 civil servants took part in Pride. That means that last year, Pride was our biggest Pride ever. We're in the planning stages now for how we'll make 2017 even bigger and even better. And of course, we've organised our annual conference. The last time we ran this conference, it took us around two weeks to fill 150 places. This year, it took less than two days to fill all 200 spaces we made available, again making this our biggest conference ever. Earlier this year, we launched a new range of guest speaker talks called CISRA Talks, 
We've held three events in the series so far, this is one, and the first two focused on bisexuality and trans. We'll be running more of these events over the coming year and hope to run one on mental health in the near future. And we've done all of this whilst working in the open, because making things open makes them better. In the last 12 months, we've published around 60 blog posts on our website. Many of them have featured stories about being an LGBT civil servant directly from you. And the work we've been doing has been recognised by organisations such as Civil Service World and Gay Star News. Less recently, our Chair and Vice Chair have been awarded the Civil Service Diversity and Inclusion Award for championing LGBT people in recognition of the efforts that they and the whole CISRA team have made. None of this would have been possible without the dedication of our volunteer team. Our team has grown significantly in the last 12 months, thanks to a recruitment campaign in early 2016. We have around 55 people now volunteering as part of the CISRA team regularly. Thank you to all those volunteers that make all of our activities possible, including today's conference. And if you want to volunteer, simply come and talk to one of those volunteer team today. That's it from us. Thanks for watching.